Drew Smiley, excellent year, 49% curveball, a really high rate. You look at the sinker, he'll throw a few cutters, but he has been dominant, especially since the first start where he hasn't given up more than two earned runs in any of those nine. India hitting 291. He was hitting third in the order yesterday. Ball strike three on the inside corner at the knees. India not overjoyed with that call. Out number one. Here's Matt McLean riding the Reds' longest hitting streak at the moment. He's hit safely in six straight. Bobbled by Horner. Changed directions on the comeback. Looked like it was bobbled three times. Once at the mound, either it hit Smiley or got the mound. Then it looked like it may have grazed over the top of the second base bag. And by that time, probably had so much spin on it that second baseman couldn't hold on to it. Steer snapped his nine-game hit streak last night, finishing 0 for 3. Did draw a walk, though. Spear hits a liner. It's short hop. Throw to second. Move over the first double play. Swanson begins a 6-4-3 inning ending double play. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Graham Ashcraft loosens for the Reds as they try to sweep away the Cubs at Wrigley for the first time in a decade. The 1-1 pitch is a rocket to center field. Barrero is in to make the catch. And Nico Horner is out number one. Dansby Swanson who's made hard contact on the series lines the first pitch to Barrero. Pretty efficient first couple of outs. And now Ian Happ's the batter. Swing and a miss. He got one there. Down on strikes, Ian Happ. And he works a 1 2 3 first inning. Does Graham Ashcraft. Drew Smiley working on Tyler Stevenson. Breaking ball got him looking. Mentioned earlier, Smiley reaching a personal milestone after that first inning of work. He has now worked a thousand major league innings. One gone, and now the batter, Stuart Fairchild. That is slugged to left. Happ. Misses it on the dive. Fairchild never broke stride. He sprints up to second and claims it standing. He's able to hook that ball, gets it right in front of Ian Happ, who almost comes up with a spectacular catch. Sinzel has had the best season in baseball against lefties. 462 against left handed pitching. Runner goes. Pitch missed down, throw to third. No. Fairchild steals third base. That's through the drawn in infield, base hit. Another knock against the lefty for Sinzel. Fairchild scores. Reds take a 1 0 lead. Now Kevin Newman, he's hit 311 against lefties this year. Sinzel goes again. And that is drilled through the open right side. Just missed hitting Sinzel. He sprints for third, shuts it down. Reds have him at the corners with one away. And now Jake Fraley coming to the plate. That bounces. Newman takes off. And to your point, there he is up to second base. Bounced right side. That'll get the job done. Fairly grounds out, but give him an RBI. Senzel scores. Newman to third. And the Reds have a two run edge. Barrero hits a fly ball to left center. Should be playable for Tottenham. Left handed center fielder makes the catch. But the Reds score twice and take the early lead. And it's a walk to Seiya Suzuki to begin the Cubs' second inning. Mike Tockman at the plate. Lines one towards center. That's a base hit. Suzuki will go to third. The throw by Barrero to third offline. First and third, two down. Tockman a single. So here's Wisdom with men at the corners. Inside, Wisdom gets hit. Got him in the left arm. He was able to get out of the way so it was not a completely flush hit. But that had to sting also. Yeah, actually, Pat, I think if this doesn't hit him, it hits the knob of his back. So that's a, a very unfortunate strike for Patrick Wisdom. Swing and a drive, deep left field. Get out the tape measure, long gone for Patrick Wisdom. And just like that, the Cubs lead three to two. You know what? I wrote down hit by pitch. I had to change that BP for an hour, right? And that's a really good sign for Patrick Wisdom. Top of the Reds order, it's Jonathan India stepping to the plate here against the left-hander Drew Smiley. Rips that ball over third, base hit. Man, he is locked in. Half in the left field corner. India jogs into second. Another smash for extra bases. Tying run in scoring position. Matt McLean, a comebacker for an infield hit his first time. McLean over third, base hit. And he's tied the game. India around third base. McLean darts up to second. India scores. RBI double for Matt McLean, even at three. McLean has his third hit. It is many at bats. His first two three hit games 
as a big leaguer have bookended this series. Spencer Steer has bounced into a double play. He's foul popped to the catcher. McLean goes, pickoff throw to first. Hesitation on the throw, and McLean takes second. Mancini paused a brief clutch before he secured the ball, and McLean takes second base in scoring position. Popped up. Gomes again bumping with a corner infielder. It was wisdom from behind near the plate. Now it's Mancini up against the screen. A second line for Steer. And a pickoff throw whistled into center. McLean could take third on an errant throw by Smiley. Sky to left. In foul ground handled by Swanson. Flipped to third. McLean back. And a four pitch walk. Reds are going to bring TJ Friedel to the plate to hit off Jeremiah Estrada. That is lined right field base hit. McLean scores. Stevenson through second. He claims third. Head first slide in a second. Friedel off the bench in a pinch. The Reds lead 4 3. So Sinzel walks, and now the Reds have loaded the bases for Kevin Newman. And he walks in a run. The patience of Newman pays off. Stevenson scores. Base is still loaded. 5 3. Brandon Hughes, the left hander, will try to get this elusive final out of the inning. Fraley hits that one into left center. Coming over is Ian Happ. He is under it and makes the catch to retire the side and end the inning. But not before the Reds add two more. 5 3 Cincinnati. Now Spencer Steer stands in with two outs, and India still at first base. Skies this ball to left. That's got some carry. Half at the wall. And that's gone. Yes. His team leading seventh homer. Spencer Steer salts the Reds' lead. His lift to left makes it 7 3. Cubs now have the bases loaded with one away. And Ian Gomes due up. Popped him up. Newman calls. Two down. Back to the top of the order in Nico Horner. Swinging a weak grounder toward short, charging McLean, gloves and throws, got him. Beautiful. Nice play, Matt McLean. Cubs leave him loaded in the sixth. DJ Friedel will lead off the seventh for the Reds. Friedel chips it in a right base hit. That's four straight multi-hit games. So the Reds with their leadoff batter aboard, and that'll bring Nick Senzel to the plate. First pitch, Senzel ropes it to left center. Friedel sprints through second, and ricochets off the wall. Furious windmill at third. Swanson eats it in the outfield. Friedel crosses standing. Nick Senzel's third reach of the day. It's 8 3. One away. Here's Trey Mancini. To right center toward the gap. It's going to be in there for a base hit going all the way to the vines. Mancini motoring in the second with a standing two bagger. Wisdom, the team leader with 13 home runs. Deep drive to left. It's got a chance in the corner. Wisdom has done it again, and it's an 8-5 to five ball game. Two gone in the ninth, and now Cubs are down to their final out. Struck him out! And the Reds complete their first sweep of the Cubs at Wrigley in a decade. They take the finale 8-5. to five.